I hope that this DVD has given you a good grounding in the basics of Revit MEP 2013. It should be obvious that we're only really scratching the surface with this DVD. And there is a huge amount that you can go on to learn about, whether this is building analysis, mechanical or electrical design, or family creation. What you as a user will probably find is that there's going to be a blurring over the next few years of who does what in a project. For the engineer, they may well find that their engineering tools suddenly include tools that are almost drafting tools, but they're not. They're still design tools. And for the drafter, well, they're going to see their knowledge base raise. I think it's a winning situation for everyone, and not just at the Revit front. We're already beginning to see Integrated Project Delivery, or IPD, being used on major contracts. In the future, this is going to become the norm, and everyone, from the client, to the architect, to the HVAC designer, to the ducting installer, are going to benefit. So the message you can take away from this is keep learning, because whatever software you use, it's only going to change. And in this instance, change is for the good. I really hope that you've enjoyed using this DVD and that you have learned something. And hopefully, you'll be looking out for more from me in the future. There are so many places where you can go to find information about Revit. Not just Revit MEP, but Revit Architecture and Revit Structure. That probably the best place to start would be Revit Op-Ed a blog by Steve Stafford, who is not only well-respected in the Revit world, he also writes a fantastic blog and has got links to almost every Revit blog under the sun that's worth reading. And the blogs listed on his pages are written by people just like you, in the industry, using and abusing software to get your job done. Another fantastic resource is Autodesk University. If you can't actually get there, then you can log on at au.autodesk.com and download the session notes from previous years. There's also the revitconference.com.au website. So just to put an end to external resources, probably the easiest way of finding stuff is just to go to google.com, type in revitmep, and you're away. About the author. Well, that's me, Simon Whitbread. You can quite often find me on Twitter under Simon Whitbread. Some of the time I'll be making some sense, but a lot of the time I'm probably not. My background is building services. I've been working in the building services arena for more years than I care to remember. I started using AutoCAD at release 10, and that was after learning my trade as a draftsman using rotaring pens, and going through the whole exercise of scratching holes in tracing paper. These days, you're more likely to find me in a classroom, teaching Revit MEP, or providing Revit implementation services on a variety of contracts throughout Australasia. I was lucky enough to get involved with Revit quite early on, and I now also enjoy teaching at events such as Autodesk University, and the Revit Technology Conferences in Australia and the US. As with everything I do, I try to do my best at it, but I don't claim to be perfect. So if you ever find anything wrong with anything I do, please let me know. And if you need help, want some advice, or just want to chew the fat, there's about a million and three ways of contacting me. So hopefully I'll be hearing from you soon.